What's up, YouTube? It's Justin. Dave asks, Dave Sharp asks, um, do I have any recommended third-party Django Ajax apps that make it easier? Dave, you said you're struggling with Ajax and uh, you want to understand how to leverage the benefits of form validation and Ajax. Now, for those of you who don't know what Ajax is, Ajax is asynchronous loading with JavaScript. So JavaScript being on the front end, something like AngularJS or ReactJS, is on the front end and it has to communicate with the server somehow. Now, if you just use Django, you don't have this asynchronous loading, meaning it does reload when you submit a form, right? You actually submit a form and then it reloads, the whole page reloads and does all this stuff. Ajax allows it so when you submit a form, the page doesn't reload, right? Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, what we wanna think about here is how, what is it that you're trying to accomplish and Yes, there are third-party apps that allow you to accomplish this better. What you're trying to accomplish is validating data that is coming back and forth using Ajax, right? So you can do validation on the front end, that is Angular, um, JavaScript, all sorts of things can do validation right there in the form itself. So you can do that absolutely. AngularJS, in theory, if you are referring to it as like a third-party package, it really is, it's a third-party package that is working with Django, which is also a third-party package. Um, so AngularJS itself does have validations that you can build into it, and then you can use those templates to do that. But as far as the backend side, you'll want to learn about the Django REST framework and actually build an API service, because then you can use their serializers to do the validation for you, much like Django Forms do the validation for you inside of any sort of Django form, it's just a standard Django form or a Django model form. Using Django REST Frameworks serializers is how you accomplish that using an API. That API connects to your JavaScript and vice versa, then that validation is built in there. So that's what you would really be doing when you're wanting to work with Ajax more. This is the only way I do it now. It's not the only way that you can do it, but it's the way that I do it because then what you're doing is you're creating API endpoints that are gonna last a lot longer than trying to build a Django view, just a standard Django view um, with a Ajax built into it or, or sort of handling Ajax requests with J JSON and stuff like that. So hopefully that answers your question. If it doesn't, please ask another question at joincfe.com slash knock. That's where we're gonna be answering your questions. Thanks so much. See you guys in the next one.